Okay, it's Paul Marsh on the Friday night show, sat here with Ben and Rosie, the big kids. How's it going, guys? Good, thank you very much. How are you? Uh, good, good. Yeah. We're, we're sat in this um, glorious room on top of the joiners. Oh. You're just about to do your live show in Southampton. Uh, you're on the second part of the tour. How's yeah. it gone so far? Uh, really great, really great. The response has been amazing. It's been amazing to finally see people singing along to the songs and stuff. It's been absolutely amazing. That's the first time for me, so I've had an amazing time, so it's been great, yeah. Uh, Rose, when Ben first approached you, did you realise who he was, or did you think this is a, a strange guy coming up to me in a bar? It's a Mr. Hudson impersonator. <laughs> odd blonde guy talking to me. Um, uh, yeah, no, I didn't know who he was. I seen him around Camden and, st Camden, Camden and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely knew who he was. Um, so yeah, I was very honoured that he would want to, to make speak to, you. to speak to me. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, obviously, uh, from the early music, drum in your chest was was the first thing you guys put out. Was that the first thing you actually laid down, or is there many tracks that we will never ever hear? There are a few. In the big kids' graveyard that I think I think if you're remain. trying to do something different, you're always going to... There's going to be a sort of, uh, you know, a, a certain percentage that aren't going to make it. Because if you're trying to do different things, some of them are just going to come out too odd. So we had things that we're not going to play. We've definitely got things we're not going to play. Okay, so the album as a whole, yeah. are you proud of it? If you could change anything, would you change anything? Do you feel it's been undersold? I don't think I would change anything. I'd, um, I don't know. Um, that's probably would be more. It, it'd probably be easy to answer that question in six months, because now we're just like, yay, we've finished it. It's like it's like out school's out for summer. Do you know what I mean? We worked really. Ye yes, we can laugh about laugh at ourselves and laugh at some of the lyrics and so on. And yes, you always with any project, you end up cutting a couple of corners and thinking oh, I would have quite liked to you know, spend another day on that or re-record that. But at the end of the day, you've got to say, is this an honest represent representation oh, yeah. of, of of where we're at? And yes, it is. You know, a snail leaves its trail and and that's kind of what we've done. Um, so, And we've had such a laugh doing it. We just hope people enjoy listening to it. You know, if they have, if people have half the fun listening to it as we did making it, then it's gonna, people are going to be grinning out of their people carriers. This is, I just want people to go on like road trips or family holidays down to Devon or Southampton or wherever and be like, and the whole family want to listen to it, you know, Golden Retrievers in the Boot, with Manning the CD Changer, six copies of Never Grow Up, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> whole lot of promotion other than yourselves on YouTube and Twitter. Has that been a conscious thing or has that been a we've got no money thing? A bit of both. <laughs> a bit of both, yes. <laughs> but the thing is with the way the business is, you can't go and throw a hundred grand at a project with any guarantee of it coming back. So, do you know what? We've made the album, mixed it, we've shot a couple of videos, we're touring. And I think it's now up to you guys. It's now up to people at home to be like, does this album matter to us? And if they come come back and say, yeah, then we'll keep throwing logs on the fire, of course. I was just a young boy looking for a way in. You were just a young girl looking for a way out. Always get my hood up, try to keep my head down. Park life on my iPod. We've spoken about the album. Let's talk about the tour. I mm. uh, spoke to you about a month ago on the phone. Rosie, you said you were really looking forward to sharing a room with four other people. Yes, is that excitement still there or is it gone now? Completely gone. <laughs> <laughs> You've been on tour for a week and she's like, I want to go home. I hate it, I hate them all. <laughs> Are you missing the luxuries? Oh no, not at all. No, I love it. I hated going back to London last night. Like, I, I, I Did you? really, yeah, totally. I, I love being away from London. I find it quite boring, London at the moment. I, I like. There's something about being on tour, you're kind of. You're like on a different planet yeah. because you're seeing every you see everything differently, and all of a sudden you're like, 
Yeah, I am going to wear that Technicolor quilted paisley bolero. Yeah, we, <laughs> literally, you know? like with the things that we've been wearing. I was, I was as a zebra one day. It was like you just, you just, it's just weird. You go a bit mad. You make my heart sing. You can make my heart sing. It's why I'm missing you. Thank you for talking to me, guys. Thank you for talking to us. You, you don't get away with it just yet. Oh. We, we've done all the serious stuff. We've spoken about the album, the tour, the infamous meeting of how you guys met. Um, but I want to have some fun now. Okay, We're going to go for a few random questions. Okay, okay. what's your favourite kitchen utensil? Spatula. Espresso machine. Is that a utensil? It's, it's not a utensil. It's an espresso machine. <laughs> it makes coffee. It's an everyday <laughs> drink. Coffee. I love it in the morning. I like it in the evening. Somebody spent way too much time in LA. It's invigorating. <laughs> way too much time in John Lewis. Um, John Lewis, have a little play around with the coffee machines. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, that sounds fun. <laughs> I save a full weekend for that. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your secret celebrity crush? Oh. <laughs> um, Kevin Bacon. Mm. Kevin Bacon? Yeah, it's really weird one, isn't really? it? Really? Yeah, I love like Kevin Bacon. That is a strange one. Really like Kevin Bacon. Who has to I fancy? I fancy everyone. Okay. <laughs> Kevin Bacon's my main man, though. Ben? Helen Mirren. Good oh, choice. Nice. Cool. Good choice. She's nice. Gilf. Met her in John Lewis. <laughs> Buying an <laughs> espresso <laughs> machine. You were just a damn boy trying to be a big man. I was such a tomboy. thing a fan has given you oh this well this isn't strange it was lovely she gave us matching yours is not on but i'm um, i this lady gave us bracelets with big kids written on them at the gig the other night it's not very strange but that's, that's the only the cool, one cool. the only thing a fan has ever given me so it's my only thing <laughs> <laughs> um i've been given a few things um like a tea set a tea set. Uh, Helen Mirren gave me an espresso machine. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, sugar bowl. Um, a, a, a man bag. In with with uh, my face on it. Oh. <laughs> As if I'm gonna walk down Camden High Street <laughs> with a man bag with my own face on it. Two questions. Have you ever eaten a bogey? No, no, I really, no, really, honestly, no. Not since the 90s. <laughs> no, never. Never. You're protesting way no, too much. It's literally, it's what actually makes me feel sick even thinking about it. I actually feel a bit crap. I, I, I may have I accidentally put one in your lunch yesterday. No, Ben, if you We've just missed the Olympics, it's just finished. Well, hang on, sorry. Oh. Straight back at you with that last question. Not for a while, but I did when I was younger. Oh, Not for a while. God. Yeah. Oh, I God. tend to just pick, roll and flick now. Oh, pick and flick. God, yeah. Lord. Do you harvest Christ. for the world? No, God. <laughs> do you harvest Christ. for the world? What I t what do you I do the old... Oh. What I generally tend to do is just kind of... And then put it under the seat oh. while I'm driving. Not out the window. Save, no, save them for later when they get crusty and then... Okay, last question. Last question. This is the After the I'm Olympics. Glad, I'm glad this isn't being filmed or recorded. Yeah. Ben, Rosie, thank you so much for thank talking you. to me. Really, really appreciate it. Um, just remember, both single Heart Sing and the album Never Grow Up are out now. Go and get them, and then I won't have to do that. <laughs> ah! I'm out of here. <laughs>